dear students today we are going to discuss why third degree heart block may cause stokes adam syndrome when conduction from atria to the ventricle is completely interrupted that condition is known as the third degree heart block or the complete heart block now in complete heart block what happens the ventricles beat at a lower rate and this is independent of atria when ventricles beat independently that is independent of atria that is known as the idioventricular rhythm and this rhythm is very slow so why slow because in our previous discussion we have seen a term we have encountered a term that is known as the pacemaker hierarchy so what is this pacemaker hierarchy so sa node has the first rest rate of impulse if due to some reason sa node fails to produce an impulse av node will take the charge but the rate of production of impulse from av node is lesser it is 40 to 60 per minute now if av node fails then the parkinji fiber even the ventricular muscle fiber they can also take the charge of generating impulse but at a lower rate that is why when the idioventricular rhythm happens that is ventricle is beating independent of atria it beats at a lower rate now complete heart block or third degree heart block may be at two level it may be at the level of av node this is known as the av nodal block av nodal block or it may be below the level of the av node that is in the conducting system which is known as the infranodal block now in case of av nodal block what happens the remaining nodal tissue so it is block is at the av node but the remaining nodal tissue it is active and it will become the pacemaker and it will beat at a rate of around 45 beats of minute so the idioventricular rhythm will be at around 45 beats per minute it usually ranges from uh, you can see here it ranges from 40 to 60 beats per minute in case of av nodal block but in case of patients with infranodal block it is due to the disease of the bundle of hays now the ventricular pacemaker is now located where it is located at the peripheral conduction tissue or on the wall of the ventricle so in case of infranodal block when there is block in the bundle of hays the ventricular pacemaker is located more peripherally in the conduction system and ventricular rate it becomes further lesser and it averages around 35 so uh, to between 20 to 40 beats per minute average is in the is it is around 35 beats per minute now what happens in stokes adam syndrome in patients with av nodal block in some individual the rate the idioventricular rhythm the rate of beat it is as low it may be as low as 15 beats per minute it may be as low as 15 beats per minute and in such individuals there may also be a period of asystole lasting for a minute or more so this will result in what will result in cerebral ischemia it will cause dizziness and the fainting 
and this is known as the stokes adam syndrome so what happens sudden onset unconsciousness there will be disappearance of pulse no heart sounds are audible patient is pale and if the patient is standing the patient will fall down which may also cause some resultant injury and if the attack is sufficiently prolonged respiration may become labored prolonged confusion urinary incontinence clonus and ischemia uh, cerebral ischemia or permanent loss will happen so usually the patient most of the cases it regains consciousness rapidly so from it we can say that third degree heart block may cause this sudden onset and uh, unconsciousness known as stokes adam attack thank you and subscribe